The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Growers. Sean Haney here with realagriculture.com for another episode of the Canola School. And joining us right now is Alberta entomologist Scott Mears. Scott, hey, how's it going? Real good. Yeah, glad to be here. Yeah, great to chat with you. So, you know, we're here in the airplanes buzzing over the skies. A lot of people thinking about uh, the bugs that are in our canola crops. Overall, what have you been seeing across Alberta? Yeah, so we just finished our, our sweeps uh, through southern Alberta up into central Alberta. And we're really seeing low numbers of, of insects. Um, and uh, all reporting to us so far this year is cabbage seed pod weevil, a few fields sprayed, but generally lower than normal, and and ligus numbers seem lower, and not finding much for uh, for diamondback moth. So really, quite low numbers. Dry weather is that why? I wish we had a, a exact clear answer. Um, I think we're we're leaning more to a, a little bit harsher winter for for cabbage seed pod weevil. Might have taken the population down. Um, dry weather can have an impact on on cabbage seed pod weevil, but the thinking on that one is mostly mostly the harder winter. Uh, we're looking at uh, diamondback moth. Just not a big flight this year, hmm. and we're seeing huge numbers of parasitoids in in our sweeps. So so it's unlikely that they'll build up into. Uh, damaging populations. Uh, so, when, you, when you talk to your peers across the other two prairie provinces, are you hearing the same sorts of things? Yes, with cabbage seed pod weevil and ligus, uh, or ligus, I haven't really talked to them about, but uh, diamondback, definitely low numbers this year. Okay, so is it, it's really the tale of this year is really making sure, you know, not going out sweeping once and assuming that, hey, we're fine. It, it, you got to con- be continually yeah. sweeping. Uh, one thing, uh, the, at the field day here today, I did a set of sweeps, and we're actually picking up some diamondback, which is uh, a little bit unexpected. So that's one we'll watch uh, in these drier areas of southern Alberta through the season. But the rest of Alberta, probably nothing there. So, um, so yeah, for, for southern Alberta, I think they're mostly out of the woods as far as as insects are concerned we just we need to do some rain dances i think (laughs) we would definitely trade maybe a few more bugs for some rain if that was the yeah it it pays to spray when there's crop there to spray for sure yeah so i am detecting though a little bit of surprise in your voice a little bit are the are the numbers lower than maybe you anticipated yeah for ligus they're definitely lower cabbage seed pod weevil i kind of thought we'd need to we need the right conditions for them to build up again they were low last year as well so so this is the second year running um but typically in drier weather we see uh, a build up in ligus and that's not really happening yet so a little bit surprised on that one okay scott thanks a lot for joining us here for the canola school you bet